Hey darlings, I'm Fern McCann and this is Loose Ends. I'm such a homebody so I love being indoors and it being all cosy and I love to cook indoors and put the fire on and spend time at home but my god I would kill for a wild night out with my girls. Oh. I'm gonna go for William and Kate. The reason why I love Kate is I love how she is as a mother and in, in certain interviews she spoke about parenting and yeah, I just think she's, <laughs> I can't believe I'm using this word to describe Kate Middleton, but I feel like she's actually quite relatable as a, as a mother and a, and a parent. It's very balanced. I think most people watching this will probably think it's Sunday. At times it is definitely Sunday, but I've really had to be strict and put my foot down because otherwise I wouldn't get anything done. So I've just had to bite the bullet and say, no, babe, you are brushing your teeth and you are going to bed at seven o'clock. Otherwise, my house would be a state and I wouldn't be able to do anything else. So at the moment, it's pretty, it's pretty balanced. Real life dating, you can't beat being in front of someone and just feeling their energy. I love chemistry. It's one of my favorite things in the whole entire world. That feeling of chemistry that you get with someone else, it's just the best. And you can only feel that when you are in front of someone, not over technology. So I will always stick to this. On a first date, it has to be the guy. I'm so sorry, but I have been on first dates before and not taken my purse. Okay, I know this. This haunts me. I often get asked, Fern, so you won Miss Great Britain and you done pageants. And I was like, I, I, on it, I don't know where this has come from. And in fact, if you actually type it into Google, it does come up, but I've never said it. There's nothing wrong with pageants. And if that's what you aspire to do and, and be a pageant queen, cool. It's not for me. I don't think it will ever be for me. And I really don't know where it's come from. So I always have this embarrassing moment of like, that's actually not true. I mean, of course, she's my world and she, she fills me with so much joy, but she gives me purpose. And I often say and hear lots of other mothers say, I can imagine my life before I had Sunday and I couldn't. But she really, she, she, she gives me purpose and she's just, yeah, she, she, do you know what? Even when she's tantruming, I live with my, my best friend, Carl, and he said to me the other day, Fern, take a breath. Could you imagine if we were doing lockdown without Sunday, how bored you would be and how dismal it would be? And I was like, you're right. Even when she's tantruming, she's, uh, she's entertaining. I think the hardest thing about being a mum is at times, you feel well I know for me I feel like I'm almost guessing and I'm like am I doing the right thing I don't know if all parents feel like this or perhaps single parents but I don't really have anyone to bounce off like do you think this is right or is that normal so I'm always in my whatsapp groups asking my friends or googling or ringing my mum like she will not stop tantruming like did i do this so i think the hardest thing can yeah of course the tantrums my gosh they are challenging but the hardest thing is 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 second guessing yourself and just knowing that you're doing the right thing for your child okay i can't pick between two so can i have like a little girly night out with a pair of them i'm gonna go for ruth because i know her very well and i just love her and she's just very calming and comforting when I see her. And I'm also gonna go for Janet because she actually makes me laugh out loud. She went on a rubbish run when she went for a walk and she actually picked up loads of, um, loads of people's rubbish that they'd just thrown out on the floor. And I, it actually made me laugh out loud because I was like, oh my God, that is me. Like I went on a walk this morning and I said to my boyfriend, I was like, 
look at this. Look at this. Like there is, like someone had just thrown their takeaway kebab rubbish just on the floor. I was like, how can people be just so selfish and not think of the environment? And it really bugged me. So I picked it up and I was like, oh, I actually see myself in Janet Street Books. Is that normal? I want more time and then I will have the flexibility and luxury of time because let's face it there's not enough hours in the day um so yeah then 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 you've got the, the chance to make more money I, w I don't want to do either because I really love being in the present moment and I aim for that every single day but I'm going to go if I had to pick I'd go see in the future because you know changing the past if I changed anything about the past, it's that whole butterfly effect sliding doors situation. I might not have had Sunday. Essex girl living in Chelsea. You can take a girl out of Essex, but you can't take Essex out of a girl.